Today we're going to be making guacamole. To make guacamole, you will need avocado, onion, lime juice, tomato, cilantro, salt, pepper. So the next step what we have to do is cut the avocado. Avocado has very good protein and the good fat. So as you can see, I'm just slicing the avocado so that we can get the pit out of it and put it into our bowl and scoop it. So with the pit, you just throw in the garbage. I'll leave it here for now. And now I'll get my spoon. And see, I'm just scooping it out with the spoon. And I put the um, avocado into the mixing bowl. And make sure you guys wash your hands before you do this. And scoop it. And if you see any um, brown pieces or anything, try to get those out because those aren't the best for you. And you make sure you want to get as much as you can. And you put it in the mixing bowl. And once it's done, you mash it all up. And... Okay, so now we are chopping the onion. And you want to make sure you put them into little pieces. So then in your guacamole, it gives it a very nice crunch and flavor. So just cut into very little pieces. Okay. So now we're gonna move on to the tomato and same thing, um, you cut it and make sure um, before you um, before you start cutting these ingredients, you make sure to wash them. So, yep. And I'm just gonna cut these little pieces. And make sure to be careful with your knife. And yep. Yeah. Okay guys, now the next step is you want to cut the cilantro as tiny as possible as you can see. The tinier the better. Okay, so the next steps are is to put all your ingredients now in. So remember for the cilantro, you need to wash it um, pretty thoroughly because it will be quite dirty when you get it from the market. So put that all in there. And now we're just gonna put some of it. Now we're gonna put the chopped onions and the tomatoes in. Make sure you got everything nice, nicely in there. Okay, now we're gonna put some sea salt. Um, our family likes to use sea salt because um, to us it tastes very nice and enjoyable. So you can put as much sea salt as you would like to your preference and some pepper. Again, as much as you would like. And last but not least, some lime juice. Just put a light, lightly bit of it because as it can be quite powerful. So, and then if you want, it makes it easier for me to mix it kind of first. So we're gonna mix it. And then after we're done mixing, you can mash it. Um, you can mash it as much as you would like. Um, 
it's your preference if you want it chunky or soft. Okay, this is my finished project. Um, so here you got good protein and good vegetables. And here you have um, grains and another thing that the guacamole has is good fats. And um, it's your preference what you want to put in it. If you want to put broccoli or more vegetables or anything. And like I said earlier, um, you can have it chunky or soft. So let's taste it. Oh, and you can wash it down with a nice um, glass of water or I like lemon water.